Good morning. Today we're going to do an oil change on Lisa's 2017 BMW R1200RS. It's a pretty straightforward job. Uh, let's go over what we'll need. Well, first off, we'll need a pan to catch the oil, which is obvious. Uh, today we're going to change the oil. We're going to use Mo Tool 7100 1040. Um, the oil filter I'm going to use today is a KNN KN160, I think. Yep, KN160. A couple tools I will need are um, an Allen key, which is a 10 mil Allen key, and a 25 Torx bit to take off the skirt. Uh, Lisa just went and rode it around, so it is at operating temperature, which is always the best to get all the shit out of it. Okay, we're going to just undo the little fairing skirt. Okay, move in a little closer here. There it is. Try not to toast my hand. There we go. It just pops off. Underneath is the drain plug and there is the filter which is going to be a 17 millimeter wrench to undo. There are other filters you can use. People use the stock BMW. There's many you can choose from. High flow, whatever else. Uh, others may need a filter wrench. Um, I have a variety of them. You can buy kits on Amazon to get them off. These are a little tight to get into, so I may change to a 17 socket to get it off. Okay, now I have cracked the drain plug loose, and since it's hot, I will stick my hand under there and undo that. Try and get it out as fast as I can. That, the last thing I will take off is the oil filter. There we go. The oil is flowing. It's not that bad as it feels nicely. You can even still see the red color of the Motul that was in there before. See right here in the drain plug they actually have a magnet. Usually they're a great thing to have because you will see little pieces of metal if you have uh, that are that are you know shavings etc that um, come off the engine. So if it's really really bad you know there is something wrong. This one was quite clear actually, it had nothing really on it, there's a bit of dirt. This is a special little tool that BMW likes to make people have. You get it originally with your bike. We bought another one because somehow we lost it. I don't know if you can see it, super cheap. But that's it. It fits into this piece here and undoes your oil fill cap. And here's the o-ring that goes inside there i always just look at them like this one you can see it has no cracks it's not dry it's still malleable it's totally functional and it's not not holding pressure here's the crush washer i'll put it against something darker you can maybe be able to see it better anyway it is quite crushed so i may replace it see what i got in my box of goodies well guys <laughs> I kind of pansied out. I went and got my 17 millimeter socket to take off the filter. <laughs> K&Ns are fabulous for this. It's it's really awesome. Now I have a nice extension, so I don't even have to worry about getting hot to. There it goes. See, I just move this pan over. Rag on the exhaust. Yes, the exhaust is hot. Uh, when it starts to leak out, like it's going to in a second. It'll just go down the rag, and it still will get on the exhaust, but it'll be less. And I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to clean it up easy. All right, let's see if I can get this off without too much. Oh, that's not so bad. All right, it's very fucking hot though. <laughs> All right, there we go. So at this point, guys, I'm going to put the drain plug back into the bottom of the engine. It's barely dripping as you can see now. Let's try to make that a little bit better. Uh, all right, I had a crush washer in my box that I put on there, which is good when I just collect a bunch of stuff and have it for later. All right, so I got my socket on there. I'm gonna give it a, just get a good snug up. There it is. And I will do a check to see if it's leaking afterwards. Uh, the most important thing that everyone needs to know is um, when you do put the oil filter back in, that rubber gasket needs to be lubricated. 
you need to put some oil on that rubber gasket. Um, k and does actually send them pre-oiled. I still don't trust it. So for myself, I just do what I've always done. Just take a little finger of oil, like this. Instead of the used stuff, and then I just put it around the seal. I'm gonna put this guy back on. Nicely lubed up seal gasket. All right, see if we can get it going. It's always fun. Well, now the exhaust has cooled down a little bit. It's not so bad. And I'm doing it with my left hand, which it's not as good. There we go. So now I can feel that the gasket is grabbed. I like to get my hand in there if I can. And give it a little bit. A little bit of goose. This is a very difficult filter to get at in the sense of tightening. That's why, again, I like the k &N filter. So now I just grab my ratchet with the 17 mil with the extension. And you don't want to crank these up. Like, you just don't. You just need to snug about half a turn or so. That's probably okay. I can't undo it with my hand. Nope, so that's good. For this BMW with the filter replaced, it takes 3.8 liters of oil. So I will actually have 200 milliliters of oil left in this bottle um, to use however I please. So what I did is I actually have this little bottle that I use for gear oils and whatnot and uh, to put in and a wasp. Um, so I put 200 milliliters of the Mo tool in here, which gives me 3.8 liters, which is exactly what I need. And I'll actually stop it a little short, see where it sits, fire up the engine, see where it settles in, and then add whatever I need to top it up. Lisa likes her tools. All right, I'm gonna fill up the oil. This BMW, I gotta say, is so much easier than, uh, say, my uh, Africa Twin or my FJR because you can just pour it right in and <laughs> away she goes. Glug, glug, glug. I quickly looked at everything. I've uh, put 3.8 liters of oil into the mighty BMW. I will now start it up. Put the caps on. The drain plug's tight. The filter is tight. I'm going to run it. Nothing's leaking. Very happy about that. And now we'll just check the oil level. You can see if I can get a light in there. There it is. You can sort of see there where it sits about just over halfway up the bubble. A little bit, probably two thirds up, I would say. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. That's fine. Um, we'll monitor it, of course, and fill it up as needed. Anyway, other than putting back the little fairing piece. The job is done. Thank you for watching. That's the oil change on Lisa's 2017 BMW R1200 RS. I hope this helps people along the way. Guys, again, one more thing. Make sure you always take your used oil, which I put in the, the old uh, container I just used, and your filter to your local recycler so it can be recycled and used again for other things. And it doesn't get into the landfill or the garbage or the sewer or the waterways. Keeping it all environmentally friendly. Thank you for watching. And just and don't forget to... Get out and ride. There you go. Get out and ride.